G'day mate and welcome back to Factorio with me GD. So, in the last episode, I cut the iron ore belt coming into this smelter. We've emptied this smelter into science um, and into everything else. At the same time, I've gone and built all these other furnaces. I haven't defended them yet. It's probably on the list of things we should do, but we'll get back to that in a minute. Um, now with iron cut, I need to... Well... I need to obviously make sure that this does dedicated copper now, which is as easy as putting a splitter in right there. And now that we've got potentially a lot more draw on our copper line, I can hook up this belt that we made a long time ago that's doing a whole lot of nothing. Actually, we've got an input priority left because I have to make sure that this lane stays clear at all times. Um, which is now going to make this a solid copper belt. Which is unfortunate because right here I need iron. So I need to relook at what we've got down here and, and obviously change things up slightly. Uh, we don't need to filter that anymore. Um, obviously, I don't need copper there. I now need iron there, which we can just tag a splitter in here, really messy like. And same with this. All this now needs to be... No. That needs to be copper. This part needs to be iron. So we're going to have to work out a way to get iron down here somehow. Uh, or move our little temporary green circuit build. That's probably a better idea. Okay. So what we're actually going to do then... Now JD's changed his mind already. Is we're going to attempt to make some sort of bus. Okay, now a bus is is a very simple, simplistic way of getting resources um, out of the furnaces and into different production centers um, as easily as possible. At the same time, allows you to quickly and easily see what you're short on and what you have a surplus of. Um, I need belt. I'm going to need a lot of belt. Um, and as you can see, my, my handcrafting queue is, is, is maxed out at the moment, um, which was quite intentional because I do want to go into combat very soon. Okay, so if all these are going to be iron, they're now all joined up to be a nice, clean iron build. What we actually want to do is we want to put in a balancer. Okay, now a balancer takes in the four belts of um, whatever input and mixes each belt equally along all four output belts. So it takes a quarter of this belt and puts it on all lanes, a quarter of this belt puts it on all lanes, a quarter of that one, a quarter of that one. And I can demonstrate it with some copper plate. I just dump some copper plate in there. And if we come to our output, We'll see, we've got a very even amount of copper on all the outputs. So that's the easy concept of how a balancer works. Um, I build my balancers this way, okay? Technically, uh, that is correct, I think. Um, I build it with the same front as the same back from from practice, from years and years of practice. And this is the, the, the method that I've learnt and I've... Um, has stuck in my memory for, for lack of a better word words at the moment so this is how I, I build it there are different ways to build them um, this is the way I prefer and it's probably the way I'm going to keep building it for forever um, my inventory is so full okay let's put some ammo back in the ammo box Because, yeah, I am gearing up for war, which just means I'm, I'm, I'm clearing out boxes as often as possible. So what I actually want to do then is I want to take all our iron lines and move them. Do you have... Oh, yeah, you're full. Okay. Um, take all our iron lines and feed them up further north. So my best bet is actually move them out a little bit further. Chop down any trees are in the way. And... Take them. Of course, there's a cliff in the way. Of course, there's a cliff in the way. Of course, the cliff is more than four tiles in, in length. Okay. 
it's still more. Can I underground there? No. Nope. There? No. Nope. There. That's frustrating. Okay. Take our iron lines. And I can feed them these in anywhere. I'm going to feed... Because I know I have three belts worth, I'm going to feed that into the third furnace, that into the second furnace, and rotate. Uh, and that into the first furnace. So I want to, I want to try and feed the furnaces fairly evenly, and any iron ore that's left on the belt, we're just, we're just hoping it, that we'll consume. Face that one that way so it drains. Okay. So that'll give us three belts worth of iron. On the north side, I will add an extra belt from these miners. Um, this is one of the reasons my crafting queue is, is so full and so long. Which actually brings to me back to the frustration of having a hand crafting queue ideally we should automate everything um, that includes that includes absolutely everything so the underground belts we've been crafting um, the splitters we've been crafting the power poles we've been crafting um, we now have steel being built so it means we could even automate medium power poles which will give us a little bit more range um, the gun turrets we've been crafting, definitely, because they take a very, very long time to craft, at over eight seconds. Um, so yeah, I want to start looking at setting up something that has many, many names. It can be referred to as a mall. It can be referred to as a make everything. I personally call mine a make almost everything, because certainly doesn't make everything. I don't need everything made. I just need almost everything being made. Okay, so we're going to join... That belt with that belt with that belt. Um, and if I do a quick copy. So I have 45 miners. 30 miners will fill a belt. Um, so I know I have a belt and a half out of this, this particular patch. Um, not that I can really use a belt and a half. But hopefully I can, I can spread it between the two of them. And hopefully it'll end up fairly even at the other end. Uh, you know what, I'm going to put a gun turret here and here, just on the off chance. And we should probably put some gun turrets, can I even walk through here? I can. Here and here. Uh, that one and that one. Because yeah, there's already biter corpses up here, which means the biters are coming in from this northern direction. Let's face it, the biters are coming in from every direction. And at the moment, we're just holding them back. Okay, so we get our iron. Um, I want to do the same thing with copper. Uh, I also want to get rid of the iron that we have currently in these furnaces. And as you can see, they're almost empty. If I just pull the last that's in those out, uh, we can pack up these as well. Okay, let's get rid of that. Get rid of that. We can get rid of that. Uh, you can just just give you a box of coal to keep you working. Uh, this iron needs to go all the way up here to be disposed of. This iron belt, again, I want it emptied. So I'll just plug it into something that needs iron for this stage, and hopefully the base will just remove whatever's left. Science has unfortunately stopped because I broke this guy. So we'll feed some of the iron in there as well to cre keep creating red packs to continue with our science. Um, so we have the start of a bus. Okay, very simple, nothing too complicated yet. Um, I need, now need to do the exact same with copper, basically. I need to put in one of these balances and with our copy tool, 
we can pop one right there. Now, the gap in the bus. So that's something I should probably cover as well. Um, I'm choosing very simply to have a very large gap between my iron and my copper. Um, lots of people build their buses with a much tighter gap down the middle. Um, some people some people choose to have these belts like almost right beside one another. Again, personal preference, it really doesn't matter. Overall, it doesn't actually make that much difference to the overall base. The only advantage, I guess, with having the two close together is there's less dead space in the middle. And it means if I want to run um, a iron belt south or a copper belt north, um, obviously I've got a lot more dead space I've got to cover in the middle. Um, that's really all it comes down to. I'm quite happy to have a large gap down the middle. Um, I put lots of temporary builds in the middle. I um, I end up putting robot ports down the middle, uh, which is a later game tech. Storage down the middle, I, I put all sorts of things down the middle. So me having a large gap in the middle really doesn't worry me in the slightest. Um, you're running, you're running, you're running, you're running. It's just a matter of really waiting for this to empty. Okay, so whilst we wait for that to empty, I know I need to get iron down here. So let's attempt to get that done. Of course, it's going to happen behind my splitter, uh, behind my balancer. So I'm going to output priority left because I want a full belt, a potentially a full belt of iron if, if we have at least a full belt of iron to use. And I'm going to run this down. And for the moment, I'm just going to actually I'm underground you because you're a temporary belt. And I'll put that there ready to feed into um, Iron Gears. Uh, this screen circuit build I want to remove entirely. So let's look at this. Okay, so you would hook up to there. You would hook up to there, which means you, and I can already have this done, so it starts populating. Uh, unfortunately, somebody left an assembler machine in the way. Okay, so we've got a belt of copper. We need some more, some more light so we can see what's happening. So we've got a belt of copper, which will then get balanced over all four belts. I need to put in a green circuit build. Um, unfortunately, because the way I've got my science set up, it's probably going to have to come after science and then be looped back into um, the inserter machine. But that's perfectly fine. That's that's acceptable. It, it will do the job. Uh, how many assemblers do I have? Eight. Eight is not going to be nearly enough. Let's craft up a bunch more of those. So, if I've got copper there, I've got iron there, I might as well start building this. In this arbitrary spot. So, we're pretty much just going to copy this build and pop it down here. Um, the only difference is we're going to vastly scale up the way at the rate this, this works at. Um, I am also going to change the build a little bit to allow for expansion. The previous one obviously didn't need any expansion. It was a temporary build whacked down there to, to get things moving. Uh, you can have some ammo. You can have some ammo. Put some ammo in you. Ammo in you. Ammo in you. Okay, so we're going to bring your output just over there for the moment. We're going to bring an iron belt down the middle. We're going to have input, input. And that over there. Okay, and of course the gun turrets I literally just put down are in my way. Uh, Paste. No, let's 
go over to the copy again. Uh, paste. So this is fairly expensive on resources. And when I say fairly, I mean very, 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 very expensive as far as resources are concerned. Um, but the main point of this green circuit build is it is very expandable over time. Uh, I need to make 99. Do I have all, I have all the materials to make 99 of those. What am I now short on? Iron plate. Oh, good news. There's a whole belt of iron plate here that needs to go away. Um, in fact, these furnaces are almost drained. There we go. So, we're going to use a blue, a blue, and a blue. We don't need anything else. Uh, because we're still using the small power poles, I want to sort of try and line these up as carefully as possible to use as few inserters as possible. Uh, I need one there, and I'm going to need one there. I'm going to need U3. Oops, that was off by a tile. U3, you're going to do copper cable. Uh, there, oh, there and there. Input, input, output. All the research we queued up's gone. Um, let's go with. Okay, so we're going to go with electric engines. We're going to go with advanced material processing, which gives us a steel furnace. A steel furnace is is essentially works the same as our stone furnace does, except you'll see there it has a crafting speed of two. It actually crafts twice as fast for the same amount of coal consumed. So upgrading to these guys will not only double their output speed, but also means that we don't use any more we use half as much coal for twice the output um so these are if you're short on coal which we are starting to get short on coal um very very highly recommend that you look at steel furnaces earlier in the game rather than later um you know what we're gonna make a beeline uh, robotics Flight. What do I need for flight? I need plastics. I need advanced electronics. And then uh, I need blue science, obviously. Then I need construction robots. And we're going to make a beeline for construction robots. Um, robots are one of the biggest player power upgrades that you will ever get in the game. Um, you can suddenly build and do things twice as fast as you used to be able to um, because you now have little robots that will fly around and help you to do all your bidding um, well they will do all your bidding uh, okay so that's all done that's all done Ow. okay so means we can start ripping up heaps of this stuff okay so we've got iron here that's now disconnected that means that'll finish. Uh, this can all go away. Because I've just literally replaced that build. Uh, you can go that way. You can also get out of the way. Because we're no longer dealing with that temporary build either. We're not dealing with that temporary build. All this belt can go away too. It now means our copper that has to come down here really needs to come out of our splitter. Uh, priority your other right. And it needs to feed down here beside this belt. And into the right hand side of that. Uh, that, our inventory is full. 
that's a shame. Um, what can I get rid of? I can... Okay, I can put down my car, give it some fuel, give it lots of ammo, give it even more ammo, give it even more ammo, uh, give it a stack of gun turrets. Uh, I'll actually have those back, please. They can go in there. It's, it's just a matter of ripping up and tidying up. Nope, I've got too many gears. Uh, that can go in there. So you need iron. So again, we're going to go back up to our our main bus. Actually, we're going to try and line things up to make them at least a little bit tidy. Uh, that doesn't exist anymore, so that can go away. Um, this belt that we were ripping up can go away. All this copper on the ground can go away. We don't need a splitter there anymore. Uh, that can go away too. Okay, so we need an iron belt. And we need it right there to produce our site. So we're going to drag this straight north. Get rid of all this other stuff that's in the way. And we can see on the minimap the biters are still attacking. Gun turret in the way too. Um, one thing I want to do is I want to place down ghosts. So I want to know where these bus belts are going to be in the future because um, it will be important to make sure that we don't accidentally build over them because I actually have a really bad habit of doing that. Uh, I'm going to run that to there, run that to there, clear all this out and then pop that on there. Now, we have in theory pulled potentially a full belt of iron off here, which means that this belt will have gaps in it. What I actually want to do is I want to make sure that I don't have those gaps anymore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure everything from the second lane gets pushed to the third lane, leaving room on the second lane. I'm then going to make sure everything from the third lane gets pushed to the second lane to make sure that there's room on the third lane for everything from the fourth lane to get pushed to the third lane. Okay, it's referred to as a waterfall splitter. Um, and what it does, it maintains this bottom lane to be as full as possible, which is really what I want, because I want to make sure that whenever I pull off it, that that lane stays as full as possible is probably the best way of putting it. Um, it it's never going to be completely full, probably. Um, but if it maintains a, a mostly full effect, I'm... I'm, I'm pleased as punch. Okay, so we now have our green circuit hobble together build. Um, it has, just as before, it has two inputs. It has copper and it has iron. Um, we have two belts of iron coming in and two belts of copper. So same story, you're gonna have to drag this up. Whoops. And I don't have any splitters. Drag, get this tree out of the way. Drag these belts out. And I've got a belt now as well. Of course I am. Back down here to pick up a, just pick up all the belt. I'm gonna use all the belt very, very, very quickly. Uh, and as you can see, research is ticking along at a nice little rate. So, first belt, and then I want to make sure that I, again, use a waterfall to push everything onto the next belt. We're going to come to here. And we'll probably actually see this waterfall in action as I extend these belts out.
trees in the way. There's always trees in the way. Nature's the real enemy. And you can see we're balancing up here. But then really what I want to do is after that first split off, I want to push everything to the bottom lane. All right. And unfortunately, it's just pushing things down one lane. But it is... Ooh, boy. Okay, I removed some gun turrets. Enter into the gun. There. There we go. <sighs> I removed some gun turrets. I didn't replace them yet. Thanks, spiders, for reminding me to never forget about the defenses. So you can see, we are balancing up, up here. All right, and unfortunately, I've only got one copper smelter up and running. But because we're pushing things down, all right, these bottom belts are always going to be more full than the top belts. In fact, you can see this one's getting absolutely nothing until this one's full, all right, um, and, and so on and so forth. So one of those little tricks that we, we, we do as the map progresses, I want belt down here for iron. Uh, I want belt on the other side of this for iron. Make a stack more splitters. Uh, come on, trees, out of my way. Okay. We want to put a splitter uh, there. This QJD. There you go. Bring that down, and I want to underground this guy because he's one belt. If I underground the main bus, that's four belt. That's a lot more undergrounds to be placing on the map. Uh, same story. I'm going to bring that to there, put that there. Just have them both go down. Uh, move that gun turret to there. Cut these belts and we'll lay them in. Okay. Oh, that failed, that one got replaced. Okay. I'm out of belt again. Yeah, picked up 200 odd belt, that wasn't enough. Uh, where are we? Belt machine. 300 odd belt. Hopefully that's enough. And unfortunately, we're working in the dark again. Okay, there, there. Okay. Run that belt through, run that belt through. And then you'll see when I hook these up that hopefully. You'll be able to see fairly easily that the top belt will become less and less saturated as it moves its way towards the end. There you go. You can see straight away there's more material missing from it because we're pushing the material down here to make, hopefully, a lot of green circuits. Um, obviously, that needs to be hooked up to there. That needs to be hooked up to there. And this will output... Not a lot of green circuits, obviously twice what we had before. Um, but with our copy paste tool, uh, we can very quickly and very efficiently continue to double our circuit output. That gun turret there. Come on, that one there, that one there. Um, it's probably still not gonna be enough circuit production but it's ugh. I copied and pasted the wrong wrong way okay that one that one uh, power 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 uh, we want to have an underground from there to there a couple of belts in output inserter doing to try and place things as fast as possible is I'm just pressing Q 
on every single item. Um, if a belt changes directions, rather than me pressing the R button to get the right combination, I will literally just press Q on the belt. Um, that one goes there, actually. That one goes there. Uh, all you guys outputting, you're all happy, you're all happy, you're not happy. Sorry, you go there, you go there. Okay, and I'll put down these lights because I've still got lights in my inventory. Something got destroyed. The lone gun turret I put down there earlier. Okay, so a little bit longer episode than I planned, but we now have. Um, no, oh, there was a gun turret there. Yeah, okay. Gun turret, gun turret, gun turret. So, we now have. We have a bus. It is cleaner than it was before. We now have green circuit production as well. Um, same story, I'll take this up to the bus. I'll actually make sure that uh, those two lanes are gonna end up being green circuits. Probably four lanes, actually. Uh, one of the first things I'll actually do is I'll take a cheeky little splice off right here. And this I'm not worried about balancing any way, shape or form because it's literally feeding one machine. It's feeding that fast inserter machine. And we're going to dump that in the car as well. Who is not going to use a lot just to make green green science. But we're back to... We're basically back to where we were. You know, excluding all the ammo that I had automated. Um, I'm going to leave that gun turret just in case. Uh, oops, wrong direction. That one up to there. Oop, up to there. That one up to there. We're going to underground that. And we have our very, very early. Actually, that one goes in there. That one goes in there. Uh, we have our very, very early green circuit production. Um, a bit of an exposed bus. We do have we do have four iron smelters up and running. We've still only got one copper smelter up and running. Um, but what I'll actually do between episodes, I'll, I'll add some more miners and, and, and get this up and running. Um, and get a second copper up and running. Not that we're using a lot of copper yet, but I'd, I'd like to make sure the production's there and ready, waiting for us. Um, and in the next episode... I guess we're gonna probably do that that Morley um, make everything that I spoke of because that's probably the next most important thing to put back a lot of the automation that we've removed um, at the same time expand it into things that we we didn't have automated yet like gun turrets gun turrets gonna be high on the list um, ammo and we're going to even start looking at military science, which we do have unlocked, but we haven't actually started producing. Um, but we do have, we, we, we can build all the prerequisites. So I'm going to leave this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope you're enjoying this little series. Um, don't forget, down in the description is a uh, link, uh, is, is the um, map exchange string if you want to play along. Um, or even a copy of the save game. Uh, same story if you just want to jump on the save game and um, play along with your your own save. That's that's you know play along on the exact same map. That's perfectly fine. And I'm getting lost for words, so I'm going to end it here. So thank you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next one. All right, bye.